Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new viewer, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And if you're someone who's been watching my channel um, and you haven't subscribed, then I hope that today is the day that you subscribe to my channel and join me on this YouTube journey. Well, join me and Rambo on this YouTube journey. Um, so today I thought I would do a sit down video, which I haven't done in such a long time. But it's basically what my channel started out to be, which was sitting down, giving advice. So I thought I would do that today, um, but also make it relevant to the videos that I've been doing lately, which are puppy content. Um, and really talk about anxiety in puppies, but it's more specifically separation anxiety, because it's something that we have had to deal with recently with Rambo. Um, and he has severe, severe, severe separation anxiety, which has not been easy. It's been very difficult um, to sort of deal with and cope because I've tried to do so much research about it. And, you know, you sort of hear the same things, but you don't really hear people's experience and sort of how they've overcome it, which is kind of what I want to do in this video is help you let you know how we're sort of coping, the things that we're finding works for us and things that we're finding doesn't work for us and I hope by doing this it can help you out if you're dealing with your puppy's separation anxiety um, and you can share your experience and see what works for you and you know we can just help each other out um, and yeah enough of me rambling on um, so let's just get straight into the video of talking about how I deal with my Yorkie puppies severe anxiety when we're not around. Rambo, Rambo. Rambo, Rambo, calm down. Rambo, Rambo. Rambo. Rambo, Rambo, stop. Rambo, Rambo. Rambo, Rambo, it's okay. It's okay, baby. So before I sort of get into the things that work for us, I just wanted to sort of mention what separa separation anxiety looks like. And it's basically distress in your puppy when someone is not at home or not in the same room as them. You know, they can exhibit signs of destructive behavior, whether that's chewing your sofa, destroying anything lying around. Um, scratching, biting things. I know with Rambo, he did that quite a lot on our old sofa, on our rug, um, you know, just peeing and pooping places that he shouldn't be, especially if your puppy is potty trained. So with Rambo, he does that usually on a um, little like training pad, um, but sometimes he ends up doing it on the rug, on the floor, or you know, wherever he shouldn't be, especially when he's going through, you know, bad anxiety. Um, it can also seem like he's whining or crying or barking um, even when he isn't typically a big barker. Um, just little stuff like that that can really show you if your puppy is feeling distressed or anxious or going through severe anxiety if you're not around. So they're just the things that you need to look out for and the things that we notice with Rambo's behaviour um, which as he got a little bit older, did start getting worse, but we're just trying to find ways we can cope with it. So things that can sort of lead to um, your puppy's anxious behavior is sort of being left alone for the first time if he's never been left alone previously. Um, like with Rambo, you know, there's always someone around. Um, so if he was to be left alone for five minutes, he just would not know what to do or, you know, how to deal with that. Um, it can also be a change in routine. So like I said, if maybe you've been at home with your dog all the time and then now you've gone back to work or had to pop out and there's nobody to look after your puppy, then that can also be you know, a change for him, which can lead to anxious behavior. Um, also, you know, if you just brought a puppy home, because that can be really traumatic for a dog to be taken away from what they're familiar with, um, their home, you know, their siblings, their mother, um, and now into a new family where they're still sort of learning the environment, learning you, 
learning you know just their surroundings and that can be really traumatic and go same goes for you know taking a dog out of a shelter you know a dog that's been moved around from home to home um that's you know dealt with sort of traumatic experiences in their previous home that can also lead to really bad anxiety um and just little stuff like that that can be the cause of your you know your pet having um abandonment issues which you know can lead to him you know really really taking it you know to heart if you actually leave the room for two minutes um or just just being anxious anyway because of his breed because i know with yorkies they are quite anxious dogs and they're very clingy dogs but also i think with rambo he has severe anxiety anyway um so those two sort of make it really difficult um to sort of try and deal with that kind of stuff now if you're looking to sort of treat minor anxiety um bear in mind i'm not an expert in this i'm just someone who is learning as we sort of go along you know trying to do research trying to speak to people how they deal with um their sort of puppies anxiety um, and just finding little things that we think would work for us so i thought i would share it um, so bear in mind it might not work for you and your puppy but it could you know there's it's always great to try new things and see what works for you as we've done with Rambo um, another great thing to do which we do often and if you've seen my videos you'll probably see Rambo with a sock one of our socks is um, leaving worn clothes around um, when you're not here or even when you are here just so you can get used to it and um, that can be anything like socks like I mentioned or a scarf or a jumper that you've worn or PJs um, because it still has your scent and your puppy will be familiar with that um, that kind of scent when you're not here as well so he'll feel you know cosy and warm and he'll feel like you know there's something familiar about about this space even when there's nobody actually here another great thing to do is establish a word that you can use that your puppy will get familiar with every time you leave so a great thing to do is to try this when you're just leaving the room for a couple minutes uh, because then he will associate that word with you're leaving but you're, you're still coming back straight away so it can be any word that you choose to use and do this with a treat so say the word give the treat leave um, say the word give the treat when you come back um, and he'll associate with this you leaving but you also coming back and that's a great way to also train your puppy. So we're gonna start doing this. We haven't decided on what word we're gonna use, but we're gonna try this whilst we're still at home, sort of go out the room for a couple of minutes, come back and see how he reacts, and hopefully he'll start associating that. Um, with Yorkies, they are really, really hard to um, train. So we're hoping that this actually works on him because he is very hard to train and um he doesn't really familiarize himself with words that often so we're going to try it and see how it goes and i'll let you guys know if that's worked for us another thing you can do is using sort of over-the-counter uh, products that have stuff in them to calm your dog so um with some of rambo's treats they have chamomile in them which is great for relaxation and calming you down especially if you're stressed i mean it works for me it works for people so it's going to work on your dog as well so getting stuff that actually has little stuff like that in it that will actually relax him and um if you're going to do that make sure you give it sort of ahead of time you're not just giving it and then leaving give it to him maybe half an hour before you leave so it can actually work and you know relax your puppy and um, so i think that's something great that you can use also um you know you can get those like plugins where you just plug it in and it releases a scent um, I've heard people use that when there's fireworks outside or loud noises because it helps calm their puppy down and I think it'll also work when um, relieving your puppy's stress as well because um, you can get one specifically for that um, it's just like an essence that you know fills your room and just makes it smell nice but also it has something in it that will calm your puppy down um, one thing that I like to use um, is calming music and you can find this anywhere on youtube um so just google you know um calming music for dogs or to help dogs relax um or you know who have anxiety just any of those keywords will work and you can find hours and hours of really really good music um that you can just pop on youtube when you're not here and even do it when you are here so your puppy sort of associates that music and that sound with you being here 
and you know if it can make me relax and want to fall asleep it will make your puppy want to relax and fall asleep as well um, another great thing which I've noticed with Rambo is I don't know if it's because he's a puppy or he's just he's really small but every time we take him on a long walk and we come back he can sleep for hours literally he can sleep for hours um, and I think you know that's something good to do before you're going to leave your puppy even just for a couple of hours is take him for a long walk then when they're starting to feel like they want to take a nap then you can leave because they probably won't even realize that you're gone or they'll be too tired to realize when you're gone because we've noticed that with Rambo when he's really tired I can leave him in one room and go to the other room and he won't follow me that's probably the only time he won't follow me or cry or get stressed is when um, he's really really tired and walks really help because he'll sleep for hours and you know even if I'm making really loud noise he won't even care or he won't even notice and I'll probably recommend that because it also keeps your dog's mental health good um, you know they've released all their energy um, and frustration on going for a walk and now they're sort of mentally stimulated and can actually have a nap and don't mind you actually leave. Also, the last thing I want to mention is toys. Now, toys are great for distraction. So make sure if you are going to leave that you have toys lying around, safe toys, not ones that are destructive because you don't want to leave your dog with toys that they can destroy and chew up and, you know, eat. Um, make sure he has sort of toys that can keep their mind stimulated like a little licking pad you can put peanut butter on there that you can lick or just any sort of, of their favorite toys that might have your scent on it as well that you can leave around so if he's whining and crying and feels lonely he'll see his toy and he'll get distracted because I know with Rambo he gets easily distracted um, when you put a toy in front of his face or when he sees one of his toys so I really recommend just having toys around for your puppy when you're not around um, and hopefully that way you won't sort of feel bad that they're bored because they'll have something to do and um, hopefully keep their mind busy when you're not here. So those are just my tips for dealing with a puppy or a dog that has anxiety or even severe anxiety. I mean it's something that we're learning and dealing with every day. You know we haven't got it figured out. We're just trying different things that we think would work for us and uh, work for Rambo because um, at the end of the day it's your puppy's well-being and mental health that's imported, important as well as your own. Um, so, you know, trying different things, researching and sharing your experiences is something great that, you know, we can all help each other out and see what's worked for us. So if you are someone who has dealt with this with their dog, is currently dealing with this please comment below and let me know sort of what's worked for you what hasn't um, and hopefully this way you can help someone else out or help me out and you know we can all sort of build this little puppy community um, and deal with stuff like this together because there's going to be a time where I'm going to want to leave Rambo alone for even half an hour if it's just to go outside to go to the shop to do something that's not at home um, and I really just need him to try and um, deal with his anxiety when I'm not here because at the moment I'm always with him and sometimes my husband isn't when he's at work but like I said Rambo just doesn't understand that we're going to come back he, he acts like we've abandoned him um, even though every single time we come back and you know he's never really been alone so it's something that we found difficult um, and we're trying to deal with but yeah, I'll update you guys and maybe do a part two. Just let you know how it's going with all these things that I'm trying. Um, and sort of share his progress when it comes to that. And hopefully that way we can sort of grow out of this little, um, little um, stage where he's really, really um, stressing or anxious. Um, so we're trying to just deal with that and cope. But yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. I know it's not, you know, a vlog or anything like that, but I really wanted to just do a sit down video and just do like a chit chat with you guys and make it more personal and um, just act like, you know, just talking to my friends about Rambo and sort of his anxiety. 
so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and as always i'll see you guys in my next video and i hope you guys are staying safe and you're also taking care of your own mental health as well as your dog's mental health especially still during lockdown here in the uk so yeah thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys subscribe and hit the like button and really help me support my channel and support me grow my channel so thank you guys again and stay safe